right? No. Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission-based investment products. Well, you must earn commissions on trades. Nope. Never at Fisher. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our clients' best interests. It's the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. How do you know what's in their best interest? We get to know our clients and then tailor a portfolio based on their goals and needs. But you probably sneak in some hidden and layered fees. No. We have one transparent management fee, structured so we do better when our clients do better. Wow, you really do look after your clients. That's because our top priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. It might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly different money management. Investments and securities involve the risk of loss. Wednesday's time, 748, the Mount Sinai Health System began an effort this week to build a vast database of patient genetic information that can be studied by researchers and by a large pharmaceutical company. Dr. Gaurish Nadkarni, the project's co-director, tells 1010 Wins the reaction from both doctors and patients so far has been positive. The response has been overwhelmingly good. People are excited to participate. Physicians are excited to work with us to explain to their patients why they should participate. And the study team has been engaging with the patients consistently. Uh, the patients are having the questions answered. But the collection of data is also raising privacy concerns. Dr. Nud Carney tells us the data collected will rename, remain anonymous. And Mount Sinai has no intention of sharing it with anyone other than researchers. But consumer genealogical databases full of genetic information like Ancestry.com have been used by detectives searching for genetic clues that might help them solve old crimes. Mayor Adams signed historic legislation today to provide safe and affordable abortions in the city following the Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe v. Wade. Mayor Adams. You're not going to let activist court undermine 50 years of settled law and personal freedom by overturning Roe v. Wade. The mayor says the six bills are aimed at strengthening abortion protections and improving public health education so every New Yorker and person visiting New York City for reproductive health care knows their rights and their options for receiving care. When it comes to getting young kids vaccinated against COVID, there's little progress. Just over 5% of kids in the U.S., 2 to 4 years old, have received at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Just under 1% of those kids are now fully vaccinated. 3% of children under 2 have received at least one dose. Correspondent Jim Crisula of Vermont remains a top-ranking state when it comes to young children being vaccinated. Investigators say they still have no idea what happened to a 16-year-old girl who vanished from a party at a campground in Truckee, California, near Lake Tahoe last week. Kylie Rodney went missing nearly a week ago. Last Friday night, she went to a party attended by several hundred teenagers and young adults, and at around midnight, she texted her mom saying she was heading home. She texted her friends that she wanted to go, and then she and her car disappeared. It's being treated as a kidnapping. Investigators say they have found few clues. They're now focusing in on a fight at that party that has no known connection to Kylie, but they're asking for teens to come forward and to tell them about that fight. Correspondent Alex Stone. Wednesday's time, 751. Traffic and transit. Here's Greg Rice. Now here's Queens Cross Island North with a wreck near the LIE. Southbound stays slow down to the Long Island Expressway as well. Clearview's not perfect, but overall it delays frustrating what you've got through the area. Whitestone Expressway is also thin down either way, but the westbound LIE still with a left lane wreck near Queens Boulevard, making a mess all the way back past the Van Wick. Westbound Bell crowded in front of Kennedy. Earlier wreck on the westbound belt in Brooklyn that was causing that. Finally went bye-bye. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Citybound side of the George Washington Bridge, about 10 minutes into the city, northbound and west side, best of it out. Cross Bronx, the worst. Harlem River Drive got worse. So did the southbound Deegan to Fordham Road with a stall. Lincoln Tunnel right now getting into the city. We're looking at about 20 minutes. Outbound side, it's about 10 to 15. Holland right now, about 10 to 15 in either direction. New Jersey Turnpike, southbound car lane. Coming down towards Interchange 9 at Edison, two right lanes out with repairs in the northbound car lanes. Getting through Woodbridge is also getting tough truck lanes either way. Going to be the better play. I'm Greg Rice on 1010 Wigs. Are you undocumented and living in fear? I'm immigration attorney Abdel Barre, and I can help you get your green card and legally work in America. Call now at 646-894-5900. That's 646-894-5900. Now the AccuWeather four-day forecast. Here's meteorologist Brian Thompson. 
Well, Malik, it is going to continue to be very comfortable as we head through tonight. A uh, beautiful evening on the way, and then a uh, clear sky through the night, low 64 in the city. It'll be in the mid to upper 50s.